Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. For the bill. Russian Antas, Wow. I guarantee you, they will. This is a, I, what do you think? I think this is a fluke. All right. Are you a Ravens fan? Yeah. You are? Why? Why? Well, I was born there, but I'm a Colts fan, man. Because you and you were born a Colts fan. A horseshoe, Johnny Unitas. Horseshoe, he always says that. You were, when that was 1920. <laughs> oh, yeah, John, what leather jo helmets, Josh. Johnny Unitas. <laughs> Johnny Unitas. <laughs> Oh, Side of United States. Oh, we, we were talking about that this morning. Everybody, where Colts were the only team where the, even the, the linemen were household names. Sure. Never happened. Bubba Smith, sure. All Cordell of Bracey, Ray May, Bobby Boyd. Everybody knew every player. Billy Ray Smith. Now, now Roger Storback came out of uh, Annapolis. Mm -hmm. I think he was he was Navy. That's right. Where 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 did uh, Johnny U come out of? Well, they say Louisville. I don't know. Oh. Oh my eyes! This, this, this freaking mold spores must be. What Karen say about that? She, she, she says uh, she laughed when I said we were we were in the mood to punish her. Eileen, but she, I says, well, she looked you, she looks you straight in the lies, eyes. Lies. I said she's like Trump. She looks you straight in the eyes and lies to you. Oh my God, my eyeballs. She's a chronic liar. Uh, she's oh. a chronic liar. I was watching Fareed today and interview John Kerry. Yeah, I saw that. So, so the Russians actually told him and other um, high-level Washington people that they they weren't allowed to co have to converse about anything in the hotel room. They had, they had some nerve. Where, where Kerry, you? John Kerry was saying when he when they used to go on trips for, for government business to the Soviet Union, they were told by their agents or their people. By who's he? Russians or Americans? No, Russia told John Kerry and the others not to discuss anything anywhere, even even private conversations. That's, that's, that's kind of odd because I would think our government would tell them to discuss nothing because you know it's half the room. They're going to listen to everything you say. Well, that's what he said. They, they probably... Yeah, so why would Russia care? Russia yeah. would probably hope that you talk. Yeah. I don't understand that one. Yeah. Well, he, he says that they, they, he, he saw that they were being watched and followed and everything. Yeah. So why would Russia say don't talk about anything? Russia would say talk about everything yeah. you want. Yeah. If you're following and tapping somebody, well, you would want. What was the reason him. for that? What did he say? He's, promo he's promoting his book. Yeah, his but why book. would they? That, I don't care about the he, book. That why don't make would, sense. Why would they do that? They should want you to talk all you want. Right. If somebody's, if somebody's tapping you and following My you. My buddy went over there. He had to go. And he said everywhere he had to ask permission and he was followed. Every, he was assigned a follower to follow him everywhere he went. Oh, like, like, like the Rocky movie when he trained in Siberia. He had the two guys yeah. following him everywhere. You know, the, 
You got followers everywhere. Yeah, what do you call them? Commissars or something? You're right. I mean, I'm tired too, but. Oh, yeah, my mother woke me up like a thousand times early this morning. So when I told her it's time for your weekly shower, and she says, I am taking. Weekly? She only goes once a week? Yeah, well, she fights. She curses us out. I says, guess what? This is payback, man. This is karma for you making me lose sleep. Jaguar? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, my friend. My friend from the Bronx was living with his, the musician was living with his uh, girlfriend in Jacksonville. He says they are still fighting a civil war down there. They are redneck as, what's no? I said it's Northern Florida. Have fun, Justin. See you later, bud. Yeah, where's he from? He got an accent. Baltimore. Oh, really? <laughs> 1920s. It wasn't the 1920s. The Baltimore Colts. He's just busting it. 1920s. Oh. I couldn't get over it. I, I couldn't get over how how the weather was Labor Day and today I only had one window open halfway. It was so chilly this morning, so chilly. No air, air condition, no fans, just one window. Where's your girlfriend been? Eileen. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Miss every day. I'm not, she's not we were joking that she might have slipped into another dimension. <laughs> she lies. She told Jimmy she's here every day at 3.15. I said, no, she's not. Actually, we caught her in almost everything that comes out of her mouth is being a lie. Everything's been a lie. Almost her, everything. Her brother, the theft of her phone. Her everything. The hoarding. She's a fountain of misinformation. Everything she says is a... Uh, Turns out to be a lie. Then she said, "Well, I, I don't. Once I caught her in a lie, she goes, 'Well, I don't know. I, I, he's the only one with the key.' I said, 'That doesn't mean it's him. Your superintendent has a key too. Your maintenance guy has a key.' I said, 'Where do you get these things from?' I said, 'You're making stuff up in your mind. You've got to stop this.' She tells me when she's in line, a couple guys asked her if they wanted to have sex. I said, I don't buy that, Ali. I don't believe that for a minute. Maybe it's wishful, yeah. wishful thinking on her I part. Said, no, it's imagination. It's the imagination running wild. I said, I don't buy. I said, I don't buy that for one minute. She lies. I heard this. Um, this. I heard this. There's this new thing now. And you're, you're going to get a kick out of that. University professors now, if they say something, one word that offends a student, the student can report the professor. Now, give me a break. I mean, you were mentioning us walking on eggshells nowadays, that everybody's obsessed with offending someone nowadays. Now, you, a professor can't say anything? And they, don't, they don't allow these guest speakers. They protest guest speakers coming on campus. Let, let's hear what they have to say. Yes. You don't agree with them, but if, even, if a, even if a student is having David Duke and the Klan there to talk, I, I don't agree with the thing you say, but I want to hear what you have. But we have a constitution. Well, not to, according to them. Well, there goes, a, there goes crazy guy. That you, He's always bumming it's cigarettes like, from Looks everybody. like he's trying to fly away, yeah. like, like a condor. He's always, he walks around and bumming cigarettes from everybody, morning till night. You, he see, never, him, you see him flapping his arms? He, he, he never sleeps. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he's a whack job. He's been banned from this hotel. This hotel is told to stay off the property, and there he goes in the property. Because he's bothering he's people. He's been banned from a liquor store, the 7-Eleven. Oh, my God. They all said, stay out, stay out. He hangs out and bumps cigarettes from everybody. You know somebody pulling up for goddamn gas, and he comes walking up, do you have a cigarette, do you have a cigarette? I told him one day, I said, your shit's going to stop. Go out and buy a goddamn pack. I've had enough. But he has money for other things. I don't know if he does or not. Well, he has bus fare. You, you... No, I don't know. If I, 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 I said that. If, I said that Tal saw him over in Englewood. Oh, okay. I said if he had money for bus fare, then buy a pack of cigarettes. 
the town says either he has money and spent it on bus fare or he walked there. It's one of the other. Right. This guy's idea. I told him, I said, your shit's going to stop. Or I said, it's, right it's, now. Like, it's like saying if a homeless person has money. For Justin, her. Justin, who was just here, my friend, got him the other day when I was sitting there. You have a cigarette that's just not here. And he goes, no, it was his friend. And he goes, do you have two? And Justin goes, go fuck yourself. <laughs> like I, you have two. Like the homeless guy that says you could have gave me a twenty dollar yeah, bill. Somebody have, gave him a five dollar bill. It's, it's just, get lost. It's like if a, if a wino, if a homeless person has money for booze and crack, and they don't have money for food, you know what? He, he, Eddie Koch was right. I know he's God rest his soul. He says, don't give a lot of these vagabonds anything. He goes from right from behind the pole. There he goes. I swear to God, he better not come up to me because I'll tell well, him. You don't have to worry, you don't smoke. I don't either. I'm going to tell him you do. I wish Eileen was here. I said, you want to ask Eileen? She smokes like a bitch. Oh, that's right. She smokes. I would just say that. Oh. I think Eileen does smoke, doesn't she? Cigarettes? She came out with me one day, but she doesn't know how to smoke. She doesn't hear. She came out, can I have one? She you're not smoking. You might as well smoke a corn cob pipe. I said, why bother? You're not inhaling. So tell me to get Captain Black. I wish he was here. I'd go over to that guy and say, my friend Eileen thinks you're hot. She'd like to meet oh, no. you. And, she's, and she has cigarettes. She wants you to come in. She has cigarettes at her apartment like you wouldn't believe. Oh, then oh, that'll be the best oh, prank. Man. That'll be the best prank. Get her real good. That's what you get for lying. I can lie too. Now, now to show you how John Kerry was pandering during that interview, he referred to the Trump supporters as people that are justifiably angry. Oh, they're a lot more than justifiably angry. They're downright bigoted, hateful people. They're, they're sick. They're Une uneducated for the most part. Yes. Narrow-minded. Sick. Oh, well, you yeah. think you voted for, for a moron because he tells us what we want to hear. Well, I can tell you what you want to hear, whether it's true or not, is another story, moron. Yeah. You know, I mean, what do you mean, what you want to hear? Well, you, you can just tell by the, 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 the banners they hold up and what well, comes out of it. When they smile, they have no teeth. Well, here's right. my vote for Trump. And they beat up anybody who protests. Well, that old guy, that scumbag. They, they, what about the girl? They pepper mace her or something in the face in Texas. There was a, you know. Yeah. Oh, who are they playing? I'll tell you, Fox is horrible for giving scores. They will not show scores. They suck. Score should always be on the bottom of the screen. I bet Eileen's home having sex by herself. <laughs> no, she probably has one of those new male. My guy is over. He came up from the shore. You know they have. Yeah, right. They now have male blow up dolls for women. No, they have those. You know, Eileen has not seen that so-called my guy in over a year. You can make a fortune if they did a replica of you and they sold them in adult stores. Oh, I know, but then I'd be signing autographs. You would have to sign the blow up dolls. That's right. With a sharpie marker. Oh, that'll be so funny. You at an adult adult film convention signing those oh, books. Wouldn't that be the funniest thing? My luck would spring. My luck would spring a leg and... <laughs> It <laughs> is balloon. Remember F Troop? That was good. Yeah, the Hakawi Indians. It is balloon. <laughs> they had the one guy, uh He's either the one with the real thick glasses, Hoffman Miller or Vanderbilt. He's up in the tower. Oh, it was Vanderbilt. He, he was up in the tower. Near, near sighted. Sergeant O'Rourke yells, Vanderbilt, you see any Indians yet? He yells out, no thanks, Sarge, I've already had my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't hear either. <laughs> no, he was just good. Now, Otis the Town Drunk, what show did he come from? You know. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith, okay. Oh, God. When I was a kid, there, there was an infomercial, Boxcar Willie. He actually sold, like, what was it, country music? Uh, uh, cassettes? Remember? Oh, the, Slim Whitman outsold the Beatles in England. In England, in England, though. 
Well, the Beatles did horrible in England. They made their, the United States, the American fans made the Beatles. I don't understand that because they did great in Germany. No, they did great in England in the cavern. That place was mobbed every night. Yeah, they, so I don't understand They that. bitched in a moment. Maybe they were kissing up to the American fans. Yeah. Um, well, David Hasselhoff is is still a, a mega star in Germany, naturally, because his last name is Hasselhoff. Oh, jeez, that would be Hoffenmuller. There was something about him being a lush, you know, I don't know. Well, he got drunk. He, he, he had a drinking problem. Yeah. I, bet he, I bet he got a lot of tail when he did um, um, uh, Beach... Baywatch. Baywatch, Baywatch, yeah. I never saw that show once, not one day. Wasn't nope. Well, Knight Rider was was. I, I never I, watched that. One. You didn't watch Knight Rider? Never, never. I saw before photos of Pamela Anderson. I told you that I she she looked a, a lot different, man. Flat as a board. And and a Carmen Electra. Yeah, no chest at all. His chest is bigger. I bet I bet Prince paid for Carmen Electra's plastic surgery because she was the same way. Thin lips, flat. Really? Yes, sir. Wow. I bet Prince, because she dated Prince. Not she dated Prince, she did it. She married uh, Dennis Rodman. Oh, you know, um, I, I watched the video of Dolph Lundgren and Sylvester Stallone training for Rocky 8. They're doing a Rocky 8 now? They're both in the gym, pound, lifting weights, and Stallone looks like he's... Uh, All plastic. Uh, 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 getting some assistance, if you know what I mean. He's jacked. He always, he's been on that for a long time. And he's got the veins, his vascularity. Yeah. They look like garden hoses. His face looks horrible. It's all plastic yeah. surgery. I mean, he works out hard. Don't get me wrong. I watched the video. He was pump. He was pumping those irons. Well, there's rumor. Rumor that Eileen's going for a head transplant. Uh, from what? Like an armadillo? the whole head oh the whole head you mean face and all well, that's in the head isn't it yeah kaput that comes from a Kapuch, latin Kapuch, word Kapuch, Kapuch, monkey that's what she said well i mean kaput means head <laughs> kaput <laughs> that's a funny word it's like noggin is that a G probably german oh my god I remember coming home from the Navy. I was in uh, Chicago O'Hare Airport, and I, I had a, I, I ordered a big, a big jumbo hamburger. It was called 747 Jet Burger. Oh, they really spent a lot of time naming that. Was it good though? Yeah, it was great. Was it big? It was big. Yeah. Chicago O'Hare, a busy airport. O'Hare used to be the busiest. No, yeah. I think it's second. Logan's pretty. My friend Jeff from is from Boston. He said Logan Airport is like the traffic is horrendous. Well, the worst one is Atlanta over here. Oh, Atlanta, yeah. uh, Hartsfield. Hartsfield. Well, you know, because Atlanta is like a, a mecca for professionals, right? A lot Everybody's in Atlanta. So many, so many professionals from all over moved there. Well, they got beautiful residential areas. My parents went there, as you know, to Georgia Tech. We loved it. Man. Well, look at Washington, state of Washington, Silicon, uh, all the all the techs, uh, computer techs, and programmers. That's like the uh, Seattle's supposed to be the computer geek capital of the country, at least of the world. What'd you get, Kara? Oh, have you, you know, tried I, the? I watch when people get the twenty piece. It's seven fifty nine or seven sixty nine. Oh, jeez! But if you get mix and match two for five, get two ten pieces. It's five dollars. People don't get it. Two ten pieces are five dollars. Twenty pieces seven fifty nine. Do the math. I was. In Bur I don't know why Burger King does the same thing McDonald's does, like with the McRib. Burger King had barbecued pulled pork hero sandwiches, two for five bucks, and they were great. There were it was this much pork in it, shredded. I says, why did you stop it? Oh yeah, people love it. 
Uh, why did you stop? Why did you stop it? It's selling, man. It's selling like hotcakes. Why did you stop it? Oh, planes are taking off left and right in this wet weather. Overcast, rain. Look at that. It's like common sense. You know, it's like if you're a retail manager and you can't keep something on the shelves. And the shelves well, these are. Tenders are not going to sell at all. They're over a dollar a piece. The, uh, new tenders, oh, but they're over a dollar each. Oh, the, what do they call them? Glaze, some yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah, ten, ten of them are ten sixty nine. Glazed, ten sixty nine. It's more money I, than I pay for the buffet on Fridays. Yeah, people are going to go to that. The South, it's Saddlebrook Mall, Saddlebrook Mall, the uh, Royal Hibachi. I pay. T it's ten dollars. All you can eat. I got fresh seafood. I got the Mongolian barbecue sushi. Um, Delicious seafood salad. I'll be Look. back. I'm going to see it. All right. Here. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. A hard ice cream where you can scoop your own ice cream, you know, like friendlies, like actual hard ice cream. Yeah. If you, all right. Well, sure. if you feel chilly, I'll, I'll keep that in the car just yeah, in case. thanks. I don't have anything right now. I know. You have no access to your things either. Oh, I can call Frank Gill at the end, but I. Well, when November comes and it gets really, yeah, really good. Know. I'm going to be there more than maybe this week. That's it. Jack, Jackie says things are fi finalizing. They're done. Oh, okay. That's done. Uh, oh, man. You know what? Look at this. Come on, man. Why can't they just keep the score in the corner somewhere? And show the other scores. They will not show the scores. Oh, fine. Oh, final. No, they're just showing stats, not scores. Oh, what the morons. Bad. Boy, Trump loves Fox. Or hey, is, is, is Beningo still doing the football commentary? Because that's my... Uh, the guy, the guy, his last name is Beningo. Never heard of him. He's my... Um, he's on... One of these, uh... Never, I don't know who that is. Oh, he might be on FAN radio, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's a football commentator. Never heard of him. He's my uh, brother-in-law's cousin. No, I don't know him. Oh, can you imagine the, the uh, football commentary you can do on radio? Oh, uh, this game sucks. I don't blame you all for switching channels. Yeah, and you know who, you know who is really fanatically Educated with about football uh, is can create. He's he knows a lot about football. Oh, I, know. I I said, why don't you coach up? Is create or cremate? Cremate. Yes. No, his last name is Padula, but you know. So where did create come Because from? he performs. That's his stage name. But he doesn't perform well. No, he does. You haven't seen all all the things oh, he, he does. does. He no, he does a lot more than that. You know what would be a good stage name for me? James Stage. That could be my stage yes, name. Yes, yes, that would be just, just great. <laughs> James <laughs> Stage. Look at poor Billy's tired, man. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, my knees are Your crazy. knees are killing oh, you. Oh, this weather. And I'm on arthritis stuff and it's not work. It doesn't work. You know what I got to bring you? I got to bring you liniment from the Dollar Tree. It gets real hot. Yes. It's called Muscle Rub, Billy. Oh yeah, I know. It's yeah. got a, it's it's red and it's got a picture of a guy with his back showing. Yeah. But it's you know what it's like? It's like extra strength Bengay. It no, but for a buck, a buck or two. They also they also have home pregnancy tests at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. They got they got personal lubricate lubricants at the Dollar Tree. They have condoms. I, I mean, you know. Now, would you would a woman trust a home pregnancy test at the dollar store? Eh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Now, this thing with Eileen, after saying that she comes here every day at three fifteen, and she's not here in over a week, is weird. Maybe, 
Maybe she was abducted by aliens and, um, oh no, don't tell me that guy's bothering Billy. No, no, you. Yeah, that's true. I can't see who it is, but. Oh, I see. There's a bunch of keys dangling. Well, I um, I took two cans of all these New England clam chowder, which is much better than Campbell's, and uh, because they you actually smell and taste clams instead of cream of potato, and it was good. I put because yesterday I was in the mood for fish, so um, I usually buy the uh, Alaskan pink salmon fillets and the codfish fillets. Keep it in the freezer. You know, it's a great store, but you gotta bring your own bags. You know, but um, are the lobster rolls still a friendlies or are they, they come and go? Really? Too big, well then, then I'd, I'd like it. Nothing is too big on my plate. They had something new in the salad bar at the buffet this week. They had guacamole. And I love guacamole. But I love avocados. They had papaya, fresh papaya. It was, it was perfectly ripe and sweet. It wasn't too overripened and it wasn't too hard. It was perfect. And what did I have? They had cod, cod scrod, bro, broils, uh, cod fillet. Excellent. Uh, beef shish kebab, but the beef was marinated, so it was tender. You could tell. It was like, I thought it was going to be tough, but... Um, Usually the roast duck is the first thing I grab, but apparently everyone grabbed the duck with the meat and left me with the the fat, skin, and bones. Yeah, everybody grabbed them. It's a lot of, in Italian, what we call... Oh, that was him. We were trying to figure out who that was. He doesn't waste time, does he? No, but everybody gets mad. You know that I put in perspective, I think it's a... One fucking cigarette, so what? But his, but his eyes, he's got eagle eyes, man. He knew you were out there. Helping somebody out. <laughs> yeah, but every time he sees you, he's gonna want... But it's still just one cigarette now, man. So what? If I can't afford a cigarette a day, what the hell? Well, you know? if he's that down and out, he should apply like, like Eileen. He should go to Rochelle Park and apply for social services. It's cold out there. Yeah, you know what? The next cigarette you have, you might need... Can I need... borrow this for a day or two? Or do you need it? Yeah, I, I, I kind of... I kind of... Uh, no, if you need it, you take I it. I kind of sure. use it, yeah. Okay, no, you take it. Then. It's like, they're hard... Because I have nothing at home. Yeah. This is all I have. When I go off for a cigarette, it gets cold at night, so... No, that's yours. You, you know, you I do it. have something. I do... I do have... Something. Ooh. You you said that there's a really good chance that you'll be situated, right? Been back in your place. Jackie says Tuesday. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, people tell me a lot of things, so I don't know. Um, I have an extra. I have a, a fleece uh, sweater with a zipper in a car that you can borrow. Now? Right. Right now. Oh, an extra. Okay. If you don't mind it, just for a day or two. Yeah, it's it's like... A, so when I go out at night, it's dark. I mean, I'm not there like... It's go fleece. Go. You know. Oh, last night it was it was chilly. Yeah, I know, because at 2.30 in the morning, I went out... chilly now. I went out to put... Um, not the garbage, I went out to Did put... Did you mind getting it for me? No, I'll get it for you. So we go out, okay. Yeah. Thanks. I'll, I'll give it back. No, I'll get, I'll get it for you. I have... Um, what do you call it? Recyclables. I went out to put recyclables... It was about 2.30 in the morning, I went, holy shit, is it chilly out here. 
It must have been in the 50, 50s, right? It was. It was. And then when the wind kicks up, you're like, oh, God. And then somebody was walking right in the middle of the street, stopped right in front of my house, and he just stands there. And I'm, I'm figuring, so what, what does that mean? I have to bring my machete out uh, when I go out to throw the... Who well, are these? You, well, you don't know. It could be a whack job. At 2.30 a.m., he's like... <laughs> well, there's no time limit. You never know. He's it like, could be some of that case. He's like right smack dab in the middle of my street. Walks. I'm putting the... I'm putting the trash out, and he stops, and he stands there. I'm bringing my machete. Carry something. You never know. You never know. Oh, I got. It. I sold yeah, something. I shut down. I got to piss now. Oh, now you got to get up and walk all the way down here. Yeah, again. that's a hike for me because these knees. But the cold air makes you. You know, and I put some drugs in my arm. They want my bladder in. Doesn't you know? it feel better getting off of a normal bed? Yeah. Doesn't yeah, that feel good? Nice. Well, I'm telling you, you should get a, uh, a cot, like a single fold, folding cot. I will. That's what even Jackie said. She gives you, you know, come on. They sell them at Walmart. It's like, like not even 20 bucks. Well, you know, even if it's a Gilligan's Island hammock No, cot. I, I like I get on the flip. That's what happens. <laughs> <happened. laughs> oh, could you I imagine? I wrapped up in it and I'm really like, Whoa. Help me. I'm, yeah. I'm stuck. I'll be right back, okay? Well, then you have a lawsuit against Walmart. No. I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, boy. They have they have a um, um, a copper fit for every joint yeah. in the body. Brett Favre, I I'm see him in Walmart. I'm gonna get two, one for each knee, and yeah. And the price came down compared well, they never to never were expensive. No. So. Well, copper has always been yeah. a, a medicinal. Well, it's it's yeah. it's a great conductor of energy. Any energy. I'm gonna try it. I, I need some. I need some relief. Yeah. If it only gives me a little relief, it's something. My, uh, I have one of my pyramids that I have has copper coil and it, um, inside. It's supposed to harness and magnify the energy going into the pyramid. She just leaves the copper stuff here. The one that was sleeping. She just, she just left it there. That's, a, that's why in Italian we call them cavones. Mm -hmm. People with, that lack manners and, and uh, you know, just like, she just, you know what? I see a pattern in their personality and their, maybe it's cultural. But there, there, there's a, an Asian. She wasn't Asian. You no, know, she was like Indian or, or Bangladesh or, Italian or something. Yeah, no, no, she, something. no, she looked like from yes. that n near India. She was, uh, but they have a really. The best way I can describe them is rudeness. Cold. Coldness. Remember what I call Asian coldness? With coldness, lack of compassion, empathy, manners. Very little emotion. At least when I say hi, you hear me. I'm like, hi, how are you? I yeah, remember Dad always said. Dad was always right. Dad always just say it like you mean it. Yeah. But if they think you're going to shoplift from them, they show emotion. Oh, I know. Well, like in a, yeah. yeah, they watch in Seven Eleven. They'll watch you like a hawk. You know? Um, did I tell you the story when Reverend Bill was alive? He he bought um, a desktop computer that was on sale from Micro Center. And they didn't tell him it was sitting in a warehouse for seven years. It, it wasn't a, it wasn't a current computer. It was seven years old. Oh come on! And they That's didn't. So obsolete. And the oh, you kidding me? And the advertisement did not even mention it was a seven-year-old desktop. So did he take it back? He told them, and they ignored him. Customer service blew him off. So guess what I did? I, I made a review on Google and they contacted me. Oh. And guess what I did? I replied to them. I said there is no excuse for treating customers right. like that. Right. If your if your product is sitting in a warehouse collecting dust for how seven you, years. How did you know it was seven years? Code number or something? He he saw he saw it on on the box. I mean on on the unit. That was that old of a unit. It was that old of a unit. It, they couldn't sell it. It was collecting dust. It was a Dell. It was a Dell. Paid a few hundred bucks for it. You've heard of Dell, of course. D E L L. There was a Dell. Micro Center on in Patterson on uh, what the hell was that? Route 21 North or Route 20? 
you better watch these little stores you've never heard of. No, it's it's a huge place. That that's what I've never heard of Microsoft. No, it's a huge computer store. Why don't you go why don't you ask for the manager? You know how big it is? Remember Sports Authority? Yeah. It's that big. And they all stand behind their sales like this? You try to swindle them? Well, the they emailed me based on my review and said, please contact contact us to, um, well, what'd they say? What'd privately. What'd they say? They what never they never replied. They never replied to my 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 email. They said we we care about our oh, customer satisfaction. What are you gonna say? We don't care. Come on, that's lip service. And, and, and I care. told them, why couldn't you put that it was a seven year old desktop in your advertisement? Why did you leave that out and have somebody think they're getting something on sale? That's fraud. Yeah. That's fraud. Yeah. Oh, that's illegal. You should have called a better business bureau too. Well, unfortunately, the late Reverend Bill was a bit of a pacifist, so he he kind of like liked the idea that that British cops, the Bobbies, didn't have guns. I well, said, "You ready?" That's a long time ago. But they that's a little nuts. Crazy. That's they have to. If I was a criminal and I knew that, I knew and the cops didn't have guns, and you're defenseless. Cops can't defend themselves. Come on. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be wearing the cap burglar outfit with the mask and the striped shirt. I'll be going, ah, ha, 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 ha. Now we, now we got we've them. Got, we've, the bottom line, do the math. We've got guns, they don't. Oh, we'll rob you every. Come at me with your billy club. Yeah, I'm, you're robbing the bank, right? Or you, you, you got a big jewelry yeah, heist. You stop it. <laughs> yeah. No, but really, as far as advertisement goes and customer service, don't give me this. We care about our customer service. Uh -huh. Sure you do. You know. Well, it's been a week and they didn't, they didn't get back to me, so. I says, I told them, in, 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 the, in the world of computers, seven years is worse than a dinosaur worse no not true you're you're right but it's like it's sooner than that it's, it's, they say what you buy new today is already obsolete wow so seven years is is prehistoric thanks to the anunnaki that's why computer sciences is, is advancing so fast hi karen But then with technology brings other demons like the fact that Big Brother can spy on us. Well, yeah, I mean, everything you're doing, you're being watched. And hackers, hacking, hacking. It's only going to get worse. My sister refuses to do online banking. I don't blame her. She doesn't, I wouldn't, she I don't. Would, I you, like hard cash in my pocket. I don't trust it. They're gonna hack into your cars. You know, you know what the bank says? We use encryption. We use a, a, a an excellent encryption. So does every other corporation, but they're getting hacked out the Twazoo too. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, my brother um, Scott visited me last night unexpectedly while I was wiping mom's butt. And Why? He, and, you all don't get along, do you? Well, no, I, we get along. No. He guess what? He somebody gave him a test drive in a Tesla electric vehicle. The ones that go from like zero to yeah. seventy-five in a few minutes, in a few seconds, rather. Yeah. Zero to seventy-five. He says it was incredible. He he didn't hear any sound. He just heard like a hum. Yeah. And he got like a G-force where his where his torso went. It's electric, I guess. No, but it's 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 Tesla's original alternate. But I met a guy that bought one. And he hated it. Alternate current battery. He said, I'm, "I can't stand this damn thing." I'll That's because he, you know, he wants to hear blah 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 blah. Well, he's have to charge the goddamn thing almost every day. I'm sick of it. He said, "I'm getting a brand new Cadillac and getting rid of this thing." Yeah, and if you're driving long distance, <laughs> let's say you're on Route 66 and you're going through the desert, where are you gonna plug in? Oh. I mean, really, where are you going to plug in? Well, how much faster can you get with a new Cadillac to go from 0 to 60 in 3.6? Come on, man, that's fast. Well, it's about time they start making Cadillacs yeah. special. The Cadillac, they say, is a luxury Corvette. They need, they need to bring back the big grill. And make it look like a damn Cadillac. God, I love Cadillacs. I remember the big high leather seats. Remember the, the uh, fleet? Remember the Fleetwood Brome? Fleetwood. Let me see this is the end. Our Brom or This has been a Mega Life 21 production.